Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. The Chinese Panda Bullion Coin began production in 1982, being first minted at the Shanghai Mint. They started off with one, one half, one quarter and one tenth ounce gold coins. I do have the one quarter ounce that you're seeing now. The reverse has always shown the Temple of Heaven in Beijing. For those of you who see my other videos, you'll know that I collect sovereigns and a smattering of various UK 50p coins. However, for a few years now, I've also been accumulating a small collection of Chinese gold panda coins, and I thought it would be an idea to show these in a video, so here we are. I'll show you the coins that I've collected to date, and to be honest, I don't really have a specific focus. I just buy what comes up, where I like the design, and the price is okay. I try to get them as close to spot as possible, but there are certain years where there are not that many surviving coins, and they go for quite a premium. This 1987 one quarter ounce coin is the only proof panda coin I have. China is the world's largest buyer of gold, and so it makes sense that China produces its own widely recognized bullion coin. From 1987, I also have this little 1 20th of an ounce or 10 yuan bullion coin. I bought this 1988 half ounce coin from a bullion dealer, and it was quite poor shape with a lot of copper spots on both sides. You can see that from the pre-conservation photos. I sent this off to PCGS for conservation and grading, and it came back looking fantastic and graded as MS69, so a terrific result overall. Also, here is the one-tenth ounce coin from the same year. There is a great guidebook called the Gold and Silver Panda Coin Buyer's Guide, written by Peter Anthony. It's now in its third edition and shows all the coin designs, sizes, and mintages. There were a few years where mintages were high, but little demand, and so millions of coins were subsequently melted, so the remaining populations can sometimes be quite low. In the first year of production, the coins did not have a face value. They started to include face values for the coins from 1983. Over time, they added different sizes, including the lovely but very tiny 1 20th of an ounce gold coin, and also making them in silver, platinum, and palladium. Panda coins have been produced at three Chinese mints, starting at Shanghai, and then Shenyang and Shenzhen mints. There are ways to distinguish between the various mints, which I understand can be seen in minuscule differences in the Temple of Heaven design. There are also varieties with different date sizes that the grading companies do identify. The panda design changes each year, and there are really some lovely designs. I think you can see that as the years went by, the designs became a bit more complex, not sure that's the right word, and intricate. Here is the tiny 1 20th of an ounce bullion coin from the year 2000. Even though the coin is really small, they've done a great job in minting them, with the detail still being quite good. The 2001 year is one of my favourite designs. In fact, this is the only design that was repeated after being produced at 2001 and then 2002. However, after that the designs again started to change each year. As you can see, most of the coins I have are graded. At the start, I bought quite a few from US sellers. The US seems to have quite a large collector and panda coin stacker base, probably why the first guidebook on pandas was written by an American. I remember reading that it has been translated into Chinese within the last couple of years. This is the last of my gold panda coins. They continue to be produced, but from about the mid-2000s, the mintage levels started to skyrocket. The planned mintage for this 2005 one tenth ounce was 150,000. Moving forward to 2011, the mintage for this size coin was 600,000, and after that they started to move into the millions. I only have a few of the silver coins as I focus more on the gold versions, so I'm just showing you a few random years that I have. So I think I'll start wrapping the video up here. As you can see, there are lots of missing years, but that's fine. As I said before, I have generally just collected designs from years that I like, and that have been affordable at the time. I hope you all enjoyed seeing these lovely panda coins. They have some great designs and lots of variety for collecting. Take care and see you next time. In the meantime, please like, comment and subscribe.